when she wake up, she say, did you take my heart and you give me an, the machine to, to make me survive? We say, yes. She said, I am okay now. I can go home. We say, yes, you can go home. You are okay now. Mariam Tanous, known as Mariam Miracle, was born with two forms of congenital heart disease and underwent open heart surgery at the age of three. In 2021, the 11-year-old who had a heart transplant four years prior saw her body reject the heart. With time of the essence, artificial heart surgery was deemed the right move until they could find a suitable heart replacement. But there were concerns. It was a procedure mainly for adults and had only been done on 58 patients in Canada. If and when the surgery happened, and Tanusa's chest was to be kept open for five days. The biggest challenge for her technically is the size mismatch between the device and her uh, essentially the chest cavity. Uh, obviously, she's one of the smallest patients who ever had this implantation of this device in the world, and obviously the smallest in, in Canada. Linda Antoine Adwar knew the risks of the surgery heading in for her daughter, but never doubted the surgeons. They told us about what is the risky, what is the good, but all these things, when they speak it to us, we say yes, we, we need to survive our daughter life. She admits that the process of seeing her daughter struggle was challenging. It's a lot of tubes, a lot of machine, and they are waiting and waiting and waiting. But don't give up, don't give up. Dr. Osami Hanjo was the cardiovascular surgeon who did the implementation of the artificial heart surgery and the heart transplant. Her personal attachment to her and then her family and then uh, it's it's a great feeling to see her uh, thriving now after this, you know, so many challenges that she went through. Adwar is ecstatic. Her daughter got past this journey. I feel my heart is go like higher, higher from the from the happy. Amal Khan, Global News.